Hello and welcome back to A Clash of Kings. Now in this episode we're going to be doing a quest which I wasn't actually going to do, but I thought why not, and you'll see why soon. But anyway, so as you saw, I grabbed two new companions which I shall get you guys to customise for me later on at a later date, but uh, before we move on to the big quest, which you guys probably know what it is already, uh, I'm going to join another tournament, and this was in White Harbour, I believe. It was quite a few days ago. And it went quite well, as you can see. I um, won't show you all of it because it was kind of a slaughter. Just, uh, yeah. There we go. Very nice. And look at John Umba. Look at him. Look at the size of him compared to the, compared to the other people in here. This guy didn't have a, have a weapon, which I thought was quite funny. Anyway. anyway, so skipping to the last round, it was fairly easy. I wasn't really getting close to losing. Final round with John Umba. Broke his shield. Always lost. There we go. So I won the tournament, of course, which is very good for me. Getting, uh, getting my name out, getting my name out there, and uh, getting a bit of money in, uh, in reward as well, which is quite nice. Anyway, skipping forward. So this is on my way to the quest. I'm attacking a giant forest bandit army of like sixty something. That was nuts. Anyway, but anyway, look, yeah, you'll see me miss so many hits right now. So this is why I'm not showing you the rest of the fight because I'm like, nope, nope, not. Anyway, so, we're going to Pentos. Now, the quest is to go see Daenerys Tar Targaryen, even though we don't actually see her. But, um, we're going to Marine and all that lot. So, anyway, as you can see, we're going to King's Landing all the way to Pentos. Now, I'm skipping a lot of this quest. This quest involves a lot of traveling, and it's just, it takes ages. That's why I'm going to be skipping most of it, but anyway. So, anyway, we start the quest here. Enter the manse. You talk to one of his servants, Panther. He would tell you, he's not here, he's in Pentos. So, we go to Pentos, of course. There we go, me just admiring myself, because why not? I look absolutely amazing. Anyway, to Pentos we go, speed through that. Let's go to the castle, and he shall just be on our right there. There we go. And he'll tell us to go to Volantis and get a ship to Slaver's Bay. Which is, uh, quite cool, but, uh... Something happens on the way, and if you want to pause and read it, guys, you can, but um, I've done, done this quest like probably back a, a thousand times, so I'm not going to be reading any of it. Anyway, so about halfway through, I think, or just about halfway through on the way to Volantis, and I get attacked by nine slavers. Kind of strange. Show them what happens when they mess with me. Literally just going to destroy them. And that's what happens when you mess with the Hef and his mighty knights. And that's all I've got on me, by the way, guys. I've got about 30 troops, I think, and they're all my best cavalry units, as you can see. They're really cool. Some of my strongest knights and uh, cavalry units. I've also got a recruiter. That's the guy you can see right there. Now, a recruiter is someone that you can send out to go recruit uh, different types of troops. Example, I was using him to get troops from... Uh, the veil, vale. but anyway, he got captured on the way by some bandits, and I ended up finding those bandits and killing them. And then I ended up like, s like recruiting him to my army, and he's like some heavy knight. I was like, holy shit, this is really cool. So yeah, that was uh, that was nice. Anyway, looking at the, at the at the rewards, of course, this is a uh, this is a different land. Anyway, getting attacked again, I thought it was quite quite funny. This one's slightly harder, but it wasn't actually difficult at all. Anyway, missing a few more hits there. Uh, Anyway, shown these uh, bloody slavers what happens when you mess with the Hef and his knights as they come in, strolling by, tearing them to shreds. As you can see, wasn't that hard at all. And we also recruited some some pretty cool troops. Um, I haven't actually seen these troops yet. Uh, there's like special kinds of troops you can get from uh, from over in Essos. But anyway. So we're going into the marketplace, of course. I wanted to admire the armors and stuff, which look really cool, by the way. I might actually get some later on. Here's me trying it on. Because why not? Why not? Anyway. Also, check, check out the horses. Look at this uh, Calithract war horse. Really cool. 41,000, though. That is way too expensive. Way too expensive. Anyway. So we're going to the tavern. We're looking for a man. But, um... This guy... This guy wants to dance. And there's my companion just going ham on him. Took a few hits though. Anyway, such a waste. It is such a waste. Anyways, we're looking for a man. Um, oh, first of all, going to the ransom broker, of course, sorry. Selling off those prisoners. Anyway, we're talking to this guy. And he's gonna be- he's uh, the captain of the ship. The Spicy Maiden, that's the one. He's gonna take us to Slaver's Bay. To Yunkai. Which is very cool. And that's where we shall go now. So, 
It was uh, it wasn't too expensive, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, like I said, I've done this quest so many times, like so many times. So that's is why that's one of the main reasons I didn't want to do this quest, just because, yeah, it gets a bit repetitive. Anyway, so almost at Yunkai. Here we go, just exploring, looking at the horizon of the of the water. It looks very nice, doesn't it? Anyway, so we make it to Yunkai. Very nice. And now, a uh, bit of advice: don't get scammed. Don't get scammed. So all the there's a few people on the left side, as you can see in, in, ahead of me, but first of all, can talk to the corpse who was swinging from the tree. I thought it was pretty funny. You can actually talk to him. Obviously, he wasn't very responsive, as you could imagine. But anyway, skipping forward, um, I'm going to talk to this, uh, this guy. No idea who he was. I was just doing a bit of exploring. What does it want? He's called me an it. I'm Hef. And he's talking about the, the mad bitch, which is Daenerys, who's uh, taken over everything. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Didn't want to read it. I was like, your cause is doomed, and apparently I gained some, there we go, very nice, cool. Anyway, so, going to, um, oh, sorry, before I go actually, talking to this person, now this person sells legit spices, I can't remember which ones are the most expensive, but, because I haven't done this in such a long time, but, uh, I bought a few bits of pieces of different spices, which are worth quite a bit as well, which is cool, so I'll definitely sell them in the future, hopefully make a bit of profit off them. But anyway, we take the caravan to Marine. There we go, nice caravan. Anyway, skip that and go straight to Marine. Then we see the unsullied on the sides there, guarding the city. Here I am, just uh, dramatically walking. Th I mean, sort of like running in th through this, <laughs> through the city. Very cool. Anyway, so yeah, this one serves. Mm, very nice. Anyway, so we're talking to Belindra, and she's going to tell me, yeah, uh, go talk to uh, what's his name? <sighs> what's his name? I forgot already. Wow. I'm terrible. Barristan sell me. How could I forget that? Well, apologies. Anyway, so we're going to go uh, straight to the throne room now. And we're going to speak to Sir Barristan sell me, who's in his Kingsguard armor. Looks very nice, as you can see. He's like, yeah? What do you want, huh? Anyway. Anyway, so I give him the letter. He's very happy. He's like, thank you. You're very nice. Anyway, so he goes, uh, go down, go over there, go talk to that guy with a funny name. And he shall give you another quest if you want to help us out. I was like, yeah, why not? Because I'm, I came on this way. May as well keep, you know, helping out. So let's go down here. Let's go uh, talk to Dario Naharis. Absolute cunt. Anyway. Sorry about that. Anyway, worm, Grey Worm. Man of... Yeah. <laughs> His face. <laughs> Looks so good. Anyway. Anyway, so... Uh, yeah, however you fucking say that. Anyway, he's going to tell us that, um, anyway, if you want to pause and read this, you can. But anyway, basically he's saying, you know, there's some pirates causing shit, you know, disrupting trades in the Stepstones. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to go sort them out. This quest used to be a lot harder. I mean, well, this part of the quest, I should say. But, um, anyway. So we're now going to go uh, back to Volantis. Back on our boat, as you can see. Nice. And uh, we're going to make our way towards the step zones after this. And uh, yes, this quest, used to, I think, you used to have to like take out like a hundred or something pirates, which used to be actually really hard. But then they made the quest a lot easier, which was very nice. But uh, anyway, so here I am, shuffling all the way, uh, sort of close to Tai Rosh, uh, to one of the step stones. There we go, the bloodstone. Enter the bloodstone, and we shall... Uh, I don't know, I've always liked this place. I would like to have my castle here. Like, I don't know, when I've retired, you know, just have like, just have a little castle for yourself with just a few of your best troops. Have a few ships, you know, delivering wine and shit. That'd be the life, wouldn't it? Anyway, this guy's gonna tell me where the pirates have gone. My thank you. He doesn't even give a shit. He's like, I don't care. Just go kill the pirates. Who cares? Anyway, so this was quite big. I wasn't, wasn't expecting this. It took me a few seconds to realize who was gone. So another faction has ceased to exist. It's actually happening quite a lot now. So I was looking over here first to see maybe it was one of one of these factions, but uh, I was wrong. And we'll see it as I uh, scroll over back towards Westeros. And uh, it's one of my favorite factions are actually gone. And uh, just a few more seconds. There we go. I'm having a little explore. And look! Dragonstone. Sanus Baratheon has fallen. But uh, by his little brother. Renly has overpowered him as well as King's Landing. He's taking King's Landing, of course. Duskendale. So yeah, Renly's doing really well, but at the end of this quest, you know, he's going to have another pain in the ass, and you'll see what that is. Anyway, here I am, entering up this little camp. It's pretty cool. Now, before I actually enter this camp, before I quickly talk about it, I had to break this quest up into two parts. This quest took way longer than I thought it was, so 
I'll be finishing off the second part of this quest in the next episode since it did take some <laughs> to take some time. But anyway, here I am just using my axes. Love me axes. I might I might try and get some better axes. I think you can actually get some stronger ones, so it kills them more. I don't know faster. See the axe just floating in his head. Nazi business right there. These guys are really weak as well. I think they had really shitty swords and armor. I, I guy wasn't ha didn't have a shirt on. Come on. So yeah, this part was quite easy. It's gonna go absolutely ham. Who would mess with me? To be honest, though, look at me. Would you mess with me? I wouldn't mess with me. There we go. We'll be to the next part of the quest. Cool. All right, now we've got to go find one of the lords of Tyrosh. I think he's the faction leader. I'm not sure. Anyway, do I know you? I'm like, I am Hef. Sup? Anyway, I've uh, cleared the pirates. Wasn't actually a lot of pirates. There was eight pirates altogether. Wasn't very hard, was it? But anyway, he's going to give me a little reward there. Very kind of him. Very, very kind of him, of course. Anyway, so heading back towards Pentos. Now, this was unexpected. Now, I saw this caravan getting attacked by some pirates. There was like 60 pirates, I think. No, 91. Shit, N now that I think of it, this was really stupid. But anyway, we had 43 altogether. Uh, me as well as the, the caravan. I had all my knights on me and I thought, pirates aren't exactly very strong. So I thought, I could take them out and help out these, uh, take out these, uh, these, I mean, help out these, uh, caravan people. But anyway, so yeah, this was a lot harder than I thought. Anyway, my companion was doing really well because a lot, a lot of them have bows. Really good bows, actually. Anyway, I almost died as well, like, really early on. I, uh, ruthlessly charged into, like, a giant pile of pirates who had bows and swords, and you see, I almost die instantly. I also lost some of my best troops in this fight, like my recruiter, my, some of my Westerland knights, which I rescued from a, from the forest bandits that you saw at the beginning of the episode. And, uh, yeah, I'm surprised I didn't die, actually, but, um... Definitely a risky fight, but it did, at the end it didn't really matter because we ended up recruiting quite a lot of troops from this, which were uh, hold, uh, which were held prisoner by these pirates. And we did help out the caravan as well, which is very nice. Gained a good relationship with, I think it was Maya or Mira. I can't remember how we meant to fucking pronounce it anyway. Anyway, so here I am just hacking down some pirates. Rainbow Maltaro stay on the horse, just going ham. So yeah, it was quite a slaughter, but we did lose some of the best. Some of my best troops, which sucked. Anyway, so yeah, we got we got to take a pick out of our out of some new troops, which are pretty cool. Um, so they they weren't too good. Um, but uh, anyway, you know, new troops, why not? And for some reason, they had Northman troops, which is kind of strange. Uh, the Pike one looked really cool as well, actually. So I thought I'll take most most of the Northern troops because we like the Northern troops, don't we? They've been very nice to us throughout the series. But um, anyway, moving on, going to Pentos. Finishing this part of the quest, and then we'll uh, start the next part of the quest, which I will, of course, finish off in the next episode, but we'll do as much as I can f for the rest of this episode. Anyway, so finishing that, I got a, got a nice sword, which I won't be using. I'm not sure if I showed it off, but I'll definitely show it off in the next episode. It's a funny sword. It's a very thin, like, twirly-whirly sword. Anyway, we're doing the next part of his quest. This part's really easy. He just goes to tell you to rescue his friend from the bath, sort of, something. Anyway, I went back. Now I'm skipping a lot of this because this quest involves so much traveling, it's actually painful. And I don't think it's even worth it to be honest. I don't know. But anyway, I wanted I wanted, to, I wanted to do it to make the series more interesting. And you'll see why next episode. Sorry, I'll get the next episode up as quick as possible as well for you to watch. Anyway, so it tells me to go, uh, go talk to his friend in King's Landing. Anyway, so going to the Black Cells of the Red Keep. Talking to his friend Rugen, who looks a lot like, you know, <laughs> You know, he looks a lot like someone that, that we may know in this uh, in this Game of Thrones, but anyway, he looks like a bit of an egg. Anyway, so anyway, goes tells you to go back to Pentos, so that's what I did. Back to Pentos we go. And now he wants me to go deliver a chest to uh, someone in Norvos, I think it was. But anyway, on the, before I, I went to Norvos, I went to Bravos, and I went to the Iron Bank, and the reason why I did this, I had a lot of money on me. I had to think, I, I think I had about 30,000 coins on me. And I wanted to deposit some of it in the Iron Bank. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because you get about 5% interest over time. So, basically, the more money you have in there, the more money you're going to make over time. So, every week, I'll be probably making about almost a 1,000 more. So, when I come back, you know, in a couple of months' time or however long, I should have maybe doubled my money. So, I should have maybe like 40,000 there. So, I did put 20,000 in there, kept 10,000 on me still. 
So it's also good to obviously keep your money safe and you're, of course you're making money back over time. And as you know our uh, financial affairs aren't exactly stable at the moment. Anyway, back into the quest. This guy's like, nah, can't have the chest. Not going well. I'm not your pack mule. He didn't like that. Bah! Anyway. So on the way back to Pentos, we were faced off against some Dothraki. Some Dothraki bastards challenged us, which of course are all cavalry. Everyone should know who the Dothraki are. Now these are of Dothraki are very light cavalry. They're very like of course, yeah. Light cavalry is probably the best way to describe them. And now, of course, I have all my heavy knights with me. So this, uh, this was interesting. I think Dothraki are definitely more superior, since they do have faster horses. And most of the time, they should have bigger numbers. But in this case, they didn't have... Our forces were quite the same. And, of course, heavy knights, as well as me, just coat hanging every single Dothraki I see. It was going, it was going awfully well for me. Sadly, I did lose my horse. That, those those weapons do so much damage to your horses. Holy shit! Anyway, taking out my bastard sword. Oh no, my great sword. Sorry, not the bastard sword. That's just a different sword. Anyway, I think it used to be called a bastard sword. I can't remember. A few versions back. Anyway, so this weapon was very uh, superior. Anyway, I ended up slicing this horse before riding it because why not? I don't know why. But anyway, as you can see, it was an, it was a slaughter. These Dothraki peasants were no match compared to my knights. And I've got some of the best horsemen in the game right now, so... Yeah, it wasn't looking too good for them. And um, I was hoping to get some Dothraki horses as a reward, but we ended up getting like some really terrible horses. Which didn't make sense, because there were so many horses around, just, just like, just doing nothing. I was like, well, can we just take one of them, please? But, um... Sadly not. <laughs> there we go. Here we are, finishing off the, one of the last Dothraki. And uh, we shall be ending this episode, so we'll be continuing this, uh, this this quest for the next episode. Now, for those who don't know what this quest is about and what happens at the end, I won't spoil it. Hopefully, hopefully those in the comment section are nice and don't spoil it as well. I'm sure you will, though, because you guys are just, you know, salty. Anyway, we've got a lame, lame Dothraki Corsair, but um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode anyway. Uh, this qu You must understand this, uh, this quest was very painful to do. It takes so long to do. There's so much traveling. This bird's is ruining my outro. Anyway, guys. Um, but anyway. Th yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thoughts up for now.